Hi guys, Bill again. Well, I've got some good news for the trolls watching. I've just been paid by YouTube for some of the videos that you guys have been watching. So you can officially call me on this. I'm plainly only in it for the money. Actually, I'd like to say a huge thank you to everyone who's watched one of my videos. The channel's up at over 19,000 views now. It's pretty amazing. And it's more than a little humbling. And seeing that so many of you have subscribed is even more overwhelming. I mean, it, it really makes me feel that the time that I'm putting into this is worthwhile. <laughs> of course, unless your name's Dr. Phil, you're not really going to make a living off of YouTube. Yeah, some of the geeks out there will understand that one. So, when you read the description in some channel's low bar, you'll sometimes see a tip jar. You know, a link to PayPal or similar, asking for donations. You know, why do they do that? The reason they do it is that this isn't free, guys. Even the most basic video involves some IT kit, and a number of the bigger names out there have got multi-thousand dollar recording setups. Time's really the big one, though. While you can bang out a vid using your webcam and YouTube's own editing software, researching, scripting, recording, even a short video takes can take hours. If you want to add graphics, video and a custom soundtrack, it can take days. And that's days when you're not able to do whatever it is you do to make a living. YouTube can't compensate you for that, you know, unless you're one of those million view cutesy kitten channels. Although well, thinking about it. <laughs> that's the tip jar. Now some guys are plain and upfront about it. Um Justicar if you've subscribed to his channel. He uses his channel to part fund his education. Now it's a great deal all round. You know, he's always controversial, he's always interesting, which means that his channel is infinitely better than whatever pushes on the TV. And he gets paid for venting off some of the stress that he builds up while he's winning that education. So it's all good. It's similar with MRAs. Every hour spent on making and editing a video is an hour less spent earning or on activism. Even at £6.20 an hour, which is Britain's minimum wage, it's costing me 20 or 30 quid in time to make one of these. That's about 20 times more than the video itself is going to earn. Now, obviously, if you want to be an activist, then you need funding. Now, the ability to reach out to a large audience would have to be balanced against the heavy investment in time and effort without that tip jar. With the jar, the whole game changes. What would otherwise be a serious drain on resources becomes a useful cash generator as well as a superb medium for getting your message out there. So you've got to ask yourself, why am I so pro on these little jars? Well, I read the comment threads on mine and on other channels. There's some fascinating points of view out there. Now, some broadly agree with mine, which is good because I'm right, by the way. <laughs> some disagree in part or in whole, and that's all good too because nobody wants to live in an echo chamber. But 500 characters is a real drag when you're trying to make even a simple point and it becomes almost impossible to address lots of consecutive points with that character limit. Now I'd love to see more videos out there. I'm aware that it takes a lot of investment. Oh you gods, I had no idea there's quite so much effort involved in just pushing out one video before I started this. I'm also aware that the potential loss of earnings might be putting some people off. Now here's the bad news. I have got no idea how this tip jar works. I don't know how much you keep for yourself. I've no idea how to set one up. These are all things that you would have to figure out for yourself if you decide to run with the idea. But I'd like you to at least consider it. If funding is a thing that's keeping you from setting a channel up and getting your voice out there, getting your voice heard. See, I want to see more of us transmitting because it offers the red pill to many, many more people than we could possibly persuade individually. If we can get heard, we stand a very good chance of persuading the majority of people that our cause has got merit. And if we persuade enough people, it's only a small step from there to gathering enough support 
to actually affect some real world changes. And don't underestimate the personal rewards. You know, having a, having a YouTube channel is a real buzz. You get excited, well, I get excited, when you get people to notice a subject that's close to your heart and to even start debating some of the points you raised or bring up new ones that you hadn't even considered. And if YouTube isn't your thing, then there's Facebook, there's Twitter, there's at least half a dozen other forms of social media where you can get your voice out there and you can get your voice heard. You won't regret doing it, believe me. It's good to talk, Pete. Let's do it some more. Players.